SmackDown. Kate dealt severe blow to Sussex's plans after their allegation of calculated omission. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of potentially making a calculated omission after Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge appeared to have been snubbed from their statement. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently released a statement on their Archul website in response to the devastating violence in Afghanistan. They said they were supporting the emergency response in Haiti with its partner World Central Kitchen, and raised awareness about other organizations such as Women for Afghan Women, Afghan Aid, and Mercy Corps. The royal columnist Daniela Elser claimed the omission showed Harry and Meghan had snubbed the Cambridges. She wrote, In the light of the events of more recent times, given the brotherly feuding, the score-setting TV outbursts and thin lip leaking to the media, the question is, was the decision to not include heads together simply accidental or a more pointed move? In fact, none of the three of the three mental health organizations suggested by Team Archul were British. It is a curious situation given it was under the British flag that Harry so bravely served two tours on the front line in Afghanistan. She added, if Harry and Meghan had taken the couple's Afghanistan statement as a moment to include heads together, it would have sent a very powerful signal, that, when they trotted out of Westminster Abbey, approximately 89 months ago, he had not turned his back on his homeland. At the time, Kensington Palace described heads together as the biggest single project their royal highnesses have undertaken together. It comes as the Queen ordered senior palace aides to plan a legal fight back amid negation hurtful attacks by Harry and Meghan, declaring, enough is enough. The monarchy's legal team is consulting libel experts after a barrage of criticism from the U.S.-based couple. Relations between the two brothers are strained, with Harry admitting in 2019 they were on different paths. Earlier this year, a book claimed they were at each other's throats at Prince Philip's funeral once they were out of sight of the press. The pair were pictured laughing and joking together as they came face to face again at a ceremony to unveil a statue to their mum, Princess Diana. The royal family are said to be braced for the publication of Harry's memoirs next year, which he has written not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. It follows Harry and Meghan's bombshell Oprah interview in March where the couple made allegations that a senior royal had made a racist comment about the color of Archie's skin while Meghan was still pregnant. Two months later, Charles came in for particular criticism in Harry's documentary, The Me You Can't See. In the program, Harry accused the royals of showing total neglect for his mental health woes. He also spoke about Meghan's battles with mental health, and said she would sob into her pillow after smears from the firm. In the light of the events of more recent times, given the brotherly feuding, the score-setting TV outbursts and thin lip-leaking to the media, the question is, was the decision to not include heads together simply accidental or a more pointed move? Was this down to a simple consequence of having an all-American team of functionaries and aides myopically focused on all things stars and stripes? Or a more calculated omission? Her comments come after Harry and Meghan said they were speechless after the Taliban takeover. They said, as we all feel the many layers of pain due to the situation in Afghanistan, we are left speechless. And as we all witness the continuing global health crisis, exacerbated by new variants and constant misinformation, we are left scared. Harry and Meghan added, when any person or community suffers, a piece of each of us does so with him, whether we realize it or not. And though we are not meant to live in a state of suffering, we, as a people, are being conditioned to accept it. It's easy to find ourselves feeling powerless, but we can put our values into action, together. To start, we encourage you to join us in supporting a number of organizations doing critical work. We also urge those in positions of global influence to rapidly advance the humanitarian dialogues that are expected to take place this fall at multilateral gatherings such as the UN General Assembly and the G20 Leaders Summit. As an international community, it is the decisions we make now, to alleviate suffering among those we know and those we may never meet, that will prove our humanity. Back in 2017 at the launch of Heads Together, Harry, Kate and William all appeared to have fun together as they posed in headbands and also ran a 100-meter sprint to help raise money for the project. Kensington Palace also described the campaign as the biggest single project their royal highnesses have undertaken together. However, Harry is no longer involved after quitting royal duties alongside wife Meghan to seek a new career path in the U.S. They have also hit the headlines recently after publicly sharing their reasons for quitting the firm, whilst also making swipes at Kate and William.